In this episode, we're going to add search to the Estatic real estate plugin. But first, I've really been enjoying Pete's Coffee, those little pods, the Keurig pods. And this brand is actually called Major Dickinson. It's a dark roast. I like the flavor. And, but to get back to the Estatic plugin here. Let's add search. First, we need to create a page to show our search results and search form. So let's do that now. Okay, and I'm going to call this aesthetic, if I could spell, search. Plain and simple. And now we need to add a short code. We actually like, I need to add two short codes. We need to add a short code for the search results and another short, short code for the search form itself. And again, if you don't know where what the search codes are, I mean the short codes, search codes, short codes are, go, you can find short codes here on the dashboard of the Estatic plugin, but a better source would be to go to the Estatic website itself and then go to the short code section. And I'll provide the links in the show notes. So first off, we are going to, let's go back to our page and let's add our search form. And this is going to be ES underscore search underscore form. And then we're going to add the short code for the search results. And that's ES underscore search. Closing bracket. And let's publish that. And let's go view the page. Now this is going to show the entire form. But we're going to only show the price and the bedrooms and the bathrooms fields. And I'll show you how to do that here in just a few seconds. All right. That looks good. Let's go back to edit page. Now we need to keep my microphone. But now we need to um, specify what type of form we want to use. Now to surface these fields or to filter the form into the shape that we want, we have to use the advanced search type. So we're just going to put search underscore type equals advanced space and then we're going to see, I'm starting to forget what I have to do here. So let's go here. We got search type and I need the fields that I want to show. And it's going to be just simple fields. I couldn't remember that. Okay. Fields. Furls. How do you, geez. Okay. We want price and I am batting a thousand here maybe I need some more coffee I don't know if it's going to help but I like the coffee alright let's move on and we want price we say bedrooms and like I said this is a comma separated list and bathrooms just get rid of that space I don't think it matters but I don't like extra space okay and let's do a preview and now we have it limited and the base price for the uh, these must be rentals cause, and even at that you are not going to get it for $300 a month I don't know any place that does that uh, let's filter this out and let's just make it a hundred thousand and we'll leave that as that oh I forgot 
we need to do one more thing. Okay, let's go. Let's go back to the dashboard here. Let's go into static settings. And here in the search page, my my camera is blocking my view here. We need to specify what page will show the search results of the uh, search form. And we're going to keep it on the same page, a static search. Then we go up here and we click save. Let's go, let's get rid of that. And let's do another preview. Type in our filter params here. And it's right there. Do a search. And now you see that it has removed. Here, I'll reset. Bring back all the properties. And we've got these two down here starting at 300, 350. And let's do, why don't we do a minimum of 300,000? That will get rid of everything except for that one property. Now let's add save searches. And for that, let's go back out and create another page. Or actually, let's keep it on the same page. And I'm going to add a new I'm going to add another short code. And this one is going to be bracket ES underscore. I think it's profile. Let me double check. Let's go back to the aesthetic plugin. Oh, it's ES my listings. Well, let's do that one and. No, that's not the right one. There is yes profile, like I said. It is too early in the morning. Yes profile. And I'm gonna put this at the very top. Update. Now let's preview one more time. So now we can do that search. Let's do the 300,000. And why did it not take? Did we not do, let's close everything down. Uh, update, we're good there. Maybe they can't be on the same page. Yes, search yes profile it's preview. Just for kicks, let's refresh the page. Let's do the three hundred thousand. There we go. I think I had a comma in there. It just wants plain numbers. It doesn't want the comma. So at this point, let's do a save search. Okay, it did not refresh. Let's refresh our, this for ourselves. And there's the listings. And now we can, the user can view their search results. And we don't have a saved home. Let's check this one. To save the home, just click the heart button here. And let's go back to our, let's do a refresh. Go into saved homes. Now the viewer has the ability to um, manage their saved homes. Thank you for your time. Have a good day.